Cartesian coordinates. The fixed reference point is called the origin. So this point there is called the origin. The fixed reference point is called the origin. And the horizontal axis is labeled the X axis. The horizontal axis is labeled the X axis. The vertical axis is labeled the Y axis. The Y axis. So that's the Y axis and that's the X axis. So coordinates are listed as X, Y. So for example, X is three, Y is two, X is zero, and X is zero, and Y is zero. So zero, zero is the origin. So the point at the origin is zero, zero. Positive numbers move to the right. So if you go into the right, you get positive numbers. O up is positive. Going to the right, you get positive numbers. And negative numbers, if you move to the left, is negative numbers going to the left. And if you're going down, it's negative numbers when you're going down. And going right is positive numbers and going up is positive numbers. A is at three, two. That's the point A there. So you go three to the right, one, two, three to the right, two up, one, two. So you do the X first. The three represents the X and the two represents the Y. So write it X, Y. So three to the right, one, two, three, and two up, one, two. And that's where point A is. So A is at three, two from the origin, three to the right and two up. B is at one, five. That's the point B there at the top. So one to the right, and then five up. One, two, three, four, five. One, five. So B is at one, five. One to the right and five up. C is at minus four, minus three from the origin. Minus four means four to the left, and minus three means three down. Four to the left, one, two, three, four to the left, that's minus four, minus three down, one, two, three. So minus four and minus three. That's how you mark that there. So that represents the coordinate X, Y. Minus four, minus three. And the point D is at minus six, minus four. D is at minus six, one, two, three, four, five, six, minus six. And plus four, one, two, three, four, plus four. Minus six to the left and plus four up. The point E is at two to the right. So that's plus two and minus five down. One, two, three, four, five, minus five. So plus two to the right and minus five down. Now it is your turn to plot these points below. So you plot F, G, H, I, J, K. So you draw this X and Y axis. The X is a horizontal axis. The Y is a vertical axis. If you draw it and plot those points, and it's very, very important. When you draw the axis, make sure, let me zoom in. Make sure these distances are equal. That's one. It should be the same like that, one. And that's the sizes should be equal, equally spaced, equally spaced. You see, follow those drawn lines on your in your exercise book or on the graph paper. Don't put one here and put one here. That's wrong. Put one equally spaced for all of them. Very, very important when you draw a graph. Cartesian coordinates and straight lines. 
what do all these points have in common? Common means something which is the same or found in all of them. So let's look at the points. That, let's look at one at the top. The point is two, five. So that two represents the X and the five represents the Y. So the coordinates is two, five. Let's look at the one below. It's two, four. The X is two and the Y is four. The next one below is two, one. X is two and the Y is one. The next one below two minus two, X is two, Y is minus two. And below X is two, Y is minus 3.5. X is two, Y is minus five. What do you, what do all these points have in common? Common is the word. So if you look at all the X values, look at all the X values, what do you notice about them? Look at the X there, 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 the X there. It happens that they are all two. So if I join all of these points with a straight line, there's a brown color, What happens is that all the X value is two. So I will say they all have X is equals to two. So that line, we will describe it as X equals to two. Because they all have X equals to two. So any point on this line has an X value of two. So X is two there, 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 and then Y is different. They all meet the criterion X equals to two. So the line has equation X equals to two. So this is called an equation because it's got an equal to sign. See that sign there? That sign means equal to. So it's called an equation. Can you see the rhyme equal equation? So now it is your turn. What are the equations of the following lines? There are two lines there, one, two, green in color. So, and then after you write the equation for these two lines, you draw the lines X equals to minus six, draw another line X equals to minus two, draw another line x equals to three and draw another line x equals to five. What word could you use to describe the direction of these lines? So any vertical line that has an equation of the form x equals to a number, the y-axis has equation x equals to zero. So this one is the y-axis x equals to zero. What do all these points have in common? Let's see the points. Five is the x value. Minus five is the x, y is four. Minus three is the x, y is four. Minus two is the x, y is four. Zero is the x, y is four, and so on. What do they have in common? Right, let's put some colors on it to see. Look there, that four, 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 four. The value for y is all four. And the next thing is, can you describe the line that would join the points? So any point on this line has the Y value of four. 
they all meet the criterion y is equals to four. So the line has equation y equals to four. So fun way to think about it is the horizontal line has the y values the same and the vertical lines have the x values the same. Now it is your turn. What are the equations of the following lines? There are two lines there. One, two, write down the equation. And then after that, you draw the lines y equals to minus six, y equals to minus two, y equals to three, and y equals to five. What word could you use to describe these lines? So any horizontal line has an equation of the form y is equals to a number. So this one, if you put a line there, y is equals to minus five, minus five is a number. If you put a line here, y is equals to minus six, minus six is a number. The x-axis has equation y equals to zero. That line there, y is equals to zero. And that name, that line is called the x-axis. That's a special name, the x-axis. Straight line graphs. Complete the table of values for y equals to 2x plus 2. Draw the graph of y equals to 2x plus 2. And then part C, use the graph to find the value of x when y is 7. So let's do part A, complete the table. So we start with, for part A, we have y is equal to 2x plus 2. Let's put minus 2 first. So we start with minus 2. So y is equals to 2 times minus 2 plus 2. 2 times minus 2 is minus 4. Minus 4 plus 2 is minus 2. So the answer there is minus 2. The next one, the next number is 0. y is equal to 2 times 0 plus 2. 2 times 0 is 0 plus 2 is 2. So the answer there is 2. So for this one, Put the zero there. The next one is one. Y is equals to two times one plus two. Two times one is two plus two is four. So four goes in there. The next one is six. Next one is Y is equals to two times three plus two. Two times three is th six plus two is eight. And that is it. You can see a pattern. Minus two, zero, two, four, six, eight. You can see a pattern. It's like the two times table, two, four, six, eight. So the points we're going to plot on the graph. Minus two, minus two, minus one, zero, zero, two, one, four, two, six, and three, eight. When you plot the graph, minus two for X and minus two, minus two is this point here. And then minus one, zero, minus one, zero is that point. Zero, two, zero, two is this point here. One, four, one to the right, four up. So one, four is this point. Two, six, one, two, and then six up. Two, six is this point. Three, eight, one, two, three to the right, and eight up. That's eight, and that's three. So that's three, eight. So three, eight is this point here, and that's three there, and that's eight there. Three to the right, eight up. Now use the graph to find the value when y equals to seven. So you go to the graph, 
you go to seven there, seven in the middle of eight and six. So you want to put seven in the middle of eight and six. You draw a straight line where it meets the curve you come down is between two and three. The number between two and three is 2.5. So that number there is 2.5. You go straight down, straight down, and that's how you do it. Now it is your turn. Complete the table of values for y equals to 3x plus 1. Draw the graph of y equals to 3x plus 1 and use the graph to find the value of y when x equals to minus 1.5.